Hey everyone, this is Louis7, and a lot of news for the Lord of the Rings Online as we have the information for the fate of Gundabad expansion, which is coming later this year. First of all, we do have the bundle, Standard Edition, Collector's Edition, Ultimate Fan Bundle, and the price here. But on this page they have, this is the Lotro Market page, and on this page they also have the release date of a couple interesting things, and we have to zoom way in to see this. But the fate of Gundabad expansion is scheduled for November 10th, of this year and it says in event of delay december 10th and then update 30.3 which includes the li revamp brawler class and it looks like the new level 130 uh valor boost is going to be october 13th of this year so about half a month from now so quite exciting with all that but let's go ahead and look at what all these bundles contains and all that sort of stuff. So standard edition looks pretty standard. It's $40 and we have the actual content of the expansion, the brawler class, an extra character slot, and the standard expedition supplies. Now standard expedition supplies, all this stuff is going to be in this table here and a bunch of extra information here. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, collector's edition this is going to contain that same stuff but also this brawler gauntlet box a level boost to 130 so that is the new valor boost it has some gunabad cosmetics a mountain and, and war steed and then more bonus items even and then the ultimate fan bundle by the way the collector's edition is 80 dollars there but the ultimate fan bundle the of course recommended one has a lot more stuff even so it has fateful gunabad cosmetics as a thunderbore and war steed appearance Interesting note on that if it's an actual worst deed bore or not. And then it has this new die carry all which is coming. And then we have just a flat 10,000 virtue XP boost and of course more bonus items. So let's see what clicking more details does. Okay, that just brings us down to this table, which is what we'll look at next. So all these, it just has check marks, a level boost to 130, that's collectors and ultimate fan. So standard expedition supplies, this is the one the standard box has, and it's just five 100% XP boosts. The improved expedition supplies, which is collector's edition, that has some rep accelerators, virtue XP accelerators, and five rare crafting components. Now ultimate fan bundle, ultimate expedition supplies, this one has all of that stuff plus 10,000 extra Virtue XP and a large die carry-all. All right, next up we have the Brawler Leveling Gauntlet Box. I don't know if that gives you like a scaling gauntlet. Let's see if there is any information here. It's set of gauntlet when your brawler does all the that level when your brawler does all the way to level 130, and it also has the valor boost and that sort of stuff there. So that is what that is. It does scale with your level, it sounds like, like some other expansion pre-order bonuses in the past or bundle editions. There's also in the collector's edition, but not the ultimate fan bundle, the Gundabad Delving Supplies, which has a Gundabad toolkit. But then the ultimate fan bundle will have the ultimate delving supplies, which has not only a Gundabad toolkit, but a fateful toolkit kit and even five more rare crafting components and five crafting tokens of esteem no idea what those are let's see what information we have on that so here's new currency boosting universal toolkit and more this is a pretty long paragraph but let's go ahead and get to it so with the Gundabad Toolkit, you get 10% bonus to all Gundabad Wallet Landscape tokens you earn. And then the Ultimate Fan Bundle will also include that and Fateful Toolkit. That is going to give us 10% bonus earnings on any wallet tokens in Festival and Landscape category up through Gundabad. It does say that these delving supplies are limited to one per account, so it sounds like you will just get one throughout your entire account, so be sure you use it on the character that you want. It'll probably be bound to account if I had to guess. Okay, let's go ahead and continue down this list, and basically the rest of this looks to be cosmetics. I don't know, these screenshots might have some looks at what the cosmetics look like, but we can check that later. So we have the yeah Gundabad Reclaimer, this is Collector's and Ultimate Fan Bundle, and then the uh, Fate of Gundabad outfit will only be Ultimate Fan Bundle as well as the Thunderbore. There is Title that comes with both of them, the Dwarf Friend, the Endurance Champion is only Ultimate Fan Bundle. Finally, some cosmetic pets, a Crystal Grim and Ukrash. have no idea who Ukrash is, but that one's also Collector's. And then finally, for only the Ultimate Fan Bundle, there's also an XP Accelerator to 130, an exclusive housing teleport item which will probably function like the door of mordor the war of three peaks table etc and then there's also a cosmetic weapon aura in the ultimate fan bundle and it looks like that brings us back to this really tiny text where you can actually see the release date of the expansion and all that sort of stuff and it brings us to previous expansions so 
I will double check. Let's check through all this. These are actually the key features. The brawler classes, of course, with Gundabad, you have, it looks like you'll have to get the bundles at least first to get the brawler. We also have the legendary item revamp. A funny note on this, I see it says earn legacies, relics, and runes, which are not a part of the new LI system. That is part of the old LI system. I assume it just means tracers and that sort of stuff with the new seasonal reward track that they will have for the LI system coming, not with the release of the LI revamp, but with the release of Gundabad, I believe. And it does confirm the level cap is 140, which many, many people suspected, but was never actually confirmed. It has new regions, so there's Citadel of Matugard, uh, there's Glooming Tarn, there's Ruins of Cloven Gap, and it looks like Pit of Stone Jaws. There's also Car Bronak. This looks like it will probably be along the western part of the zone with some hints of Ingmar there. And then basically confirms there will be instances and a raid, which we pretty much already knew. Moving on, we do have some missions for a level 20 plus characters. Doesn't really say too much, 20 to 140. Allegiances are back. So the producer Renidia mentioned in my interview that there was some old system returning, but a little bit revamp for Gundabad. And it looks like Allegiances is at least one of those with the Zelruka dwarves around Gundabad. You can pledge your allegiance to them. And finally, we have the Expedition Supply which we already looked at the actual details with that. But let's see, just to see what it says, the go big for Gundabad, see if there's anything here. Uh, XP Accelerator, Thunder Cosmetic, Thunderous Cosmetic Weapon Aura, rather. And there is the Fateful Thunder Boar Mount, the first Lotro Mount with Thundering Hooves. Interesting. So let's see, I don't think there is any expansion trailer or anything like that. I think it's just screenshots for the last thing for us to look at. Uh, might as well go ahead and look at these. We'll start with number one. Uh, this one we have already seen, that will potentially be the thumbnail for this video. Here is number one, actually. That is an interesting warg. Wow, it has crystals growing out of it. I know there is something mentioned about crystals. I don't know if that's like the enemies are infected with crystals or something, but I actually like that screenshot. This is the key art that we have already seen, or may have already seen. It's been published on Twitter and probably elsewhere. This is the brawler doing the Mighty Upheaval ability, I believe. And this is inside a cave. This one's a little bit harder to see, but inside a cave in Gundabad, it looks like with crystals and injured dwarf, probably some sort of quest thing. And these are... My first reaction is these are like scarabs from WoW, but there's the basically same type of enemy in Lotro, which is actually the Grodbog. So these look to be fancy Grodbog that look really creepy and ugly. And that is it for the screenshot, so I will look over this once more and see if there's anything else interesting. Uh, with that, that is pretty much it for this video. So next, I will probably go ahead and purchase this. When the servers come up, I will also log in, see if there's anything I get. Which, speaking of that, there is actually one more thing I want to double check. What you get when. I think it's in the small text down here that we went over before with the release date. It just says that your account will be updated and... It has certain items that will be delivered on October 13th, which includes the Brawler class, Valor character boost, additional character slots, and Brawler gauntlet box. Now, the following items will be delivered at the launch of the expansion, and that includes things like Gundabad delving supplies and all items contained in Ultimate delving supplies, housing teleport, so it seems like a lot or most of the things will be delivered at the release of the expansion besides the Brawler and Ally revamp, and there is maybe some of the cosmetics you will go ahead and get. I didn't see those explicitly listed, but maybe they are contained within the Fate of Gundabad delivered then. But we will see, because the next thing I will do is go ahead and buy this and log into the game and see if anything has changed. But as far as this video goes, I am interested, one, in your all's thoughts on this. I'll probably have more of my thoughts when we actually see what some of the stuff looks like and in a separate video. But as far as this one goes, that is the news that we have, and I hope you all enjoyed it and learned something useful. And if you did, please consider liking and subscribing for more or becoming a channel member to support the content, like probably the purchase of this right here. And thanks for watching, everyone.